Now we're going to work through some practical examples of how to do this. We are going to start with an Amazon listing. So just to remind you of what you need for an Amazon listing, we're going to be using an ASIN listing in this case. You are going to need the following, a title, a price, a stock, a condition, and an ASIN. Alternatively, you could be doing a UPC listing where you're going to need the UPC instead of the ASIN and you're going to need a, to add an Amazon subcategory. We'll do this in Excel. So here is an example of the file setup with our action in the first column, a product identifier in the second column, in this case an SKU, and then all of the fields that we just mentioned needing. We've already created the data that we would need for adding products using this method, which you can see here. In this example, we are going to be loading up some aluminum rear sprockets by Vortex. So here is what the data would look like in this case. We are going to be using action equals add. This is a handy shortcut for bulk columns. By adding the equal sign and then a value, this is automatically going to set all of the cells in this column to add. Since our demo system doesn't use the SKU generator, we have added our desired SKUs here, but remember, you can leave the cells blank if you are using the SKU generator. We have also set our stock quantities, prices, titles, conditions, all new in this case, and our Amazon ASINs. In the final column, just for the sake of example, we've added what it would look like if you were adding an Amazon subcategory. So the header is Amazon item type, and then you can see we have the um, category ID, the numeric category ID listed here. So you'll always need to add the category ID, not the name of the category. Now that you have the file all set up, you'll want to save the file. Always use Save As and select the comma separated value file or CSV format. Now we're ready to move on to the next stage of the workflow, which is uploading the data, and then we'll show you how to do the final step, which is check the results. Just as a reminder, the larger the file that you upload, the longer the data will take to process. When you are ready to begin the bulk upload, go into SureDone and navigate to the Bulk Uploads tab. You want to click on Choose File and select the file you have just saved. Now we want to focus on the choices at the bottom. For now, we can skip the force and import media URLs, and we are just going to focus on which can channels we want to add products to. Since we are going to send these products to Amazon, we don't want to skip all channels, as that would include skipping Amazon, but we do want to skip our eBay channels, so we'll check the box next to Skip eBay. Then we can click Upload to start processing the file. As I said before, keep in mind how long your file takes to process depends on how many items are included. Once the processing starts, the system will automatically take you into the Results tab. Once you download and open the results file, they are structured in the following manner. The line gives you the number of rows that you processed, the action completed for that row, the third column gives you the product identifier you used, the fourth column is the results column. This is either success or failure. Keep in mind this is the sure done result, not whether it was successfully listed on a channel. The fifth column gives you any errors that you receive from your channels. If you receive an error, that is a good indication that it is not listed successfully to your, to your channel and you'll need to figure out how to repair the error and then relist those items. And then any messages or warnings that you get from your listing channels are listed in the final column. So in the system, you'll automatically see the processing request. It'll be listed as pending when processing and complete when finished. Once processed, click the link to download your results file when they're ready. When you open the file to see the six columns we discussed in the slides, you'll see that we did not receive any errors, but we did get a message that our items are being queued for processing. We've also set a flag when we uploaded the file to skip eBay, which of course you can see here in the first column.